It's a great story. Thank you, Carlos. Well, there's probably no better example of how weather impacts farmers than this year's Georgia peach crop or lack thereof. CNN reports the weather killed 90% of Georgia's peaches this year. In this week's On the Farm, we travel to a Georgia farm that won't be able to open at all this year. At Greg Farms in Pike County, spring brought vibrant, healthy green leaves to cover the peach trees in the orchards. But take a closer look and it reveals something important is missing. The peaches. You would see some peaches, but they wouldn't be ripe yet. Um, at, we have 20 different varieties, and so some get late, get ready in like August, September. So we have some that get ready um, by first, second week of June, so we might be seeing a little bit of red, but right now we, we see, yeah, see a little bit of red, but mostly just little peaches about this size. The reason for the peach shortage? An extreme dip in temperatures just before springtime this year. This year it was February when they all bloomed, so once the peaches bloomed, they were susceptible to the cold, and that March 10th weekend, where it got cold for about four or five hours, pretty much burned all the peach all, all the peach flowers that were out there. While it's true that peach trees need plenty of chill hours, temperatures 45 or below to be healthy, the last thing they do need is harsh cold once the trees have started to bloom. The peach trees that I, after they're done with the season, they um they need a certain amount of cold hours. It's um over a thousand hours, so you get that in between September, October, November, December, and January, all the way until they start becoming flowers. So we were able to get that, but then once they bloom, you don't want any more cold hours. The Greg family says they're certainly used to their share of cold weather, especially here in Pike County, but they tell me things have only gotten this bad for the peach crop, probably two or three times within the past sixty years. Our business, I mean, it's going to be zero. We we're going to have zero business at all because we, we, we grow the peaches and blueberries got killed or plums got killed. Pretty much all of our produce were killed this year. And so that made us not be able to plant. We didn't want to plant just corn or anything because peaches is our draw in order to have people come pick peaches. Um, so it's big. The business is completely down 100 percent because there will be no business. This time of year, the Greg family is usually very busy preparing to open their stand selling peaches and peach ice cream at their you pick farm. It's sad because you know I like to see all the regular customers that have been coming since I was a kid because I've worked here every summer since I can remember. And so that that's what's tough and um, it, yeah, it's weird. It's gonna be a weird summer to like because I work because it's oh, this is open seven days a week and we're always doing something. There's always something to do whenever until the sun goes down. So this year it's gonna be weird. Greg says those customers offer them strength in pushing through this tough time. We appreciate all the messages of, you know, feeling of sorrow and everything. So we just appreciate y'all reaching out and following us. The Greg family says the summer will be difficult for them, but they remain optimistic about next year. Next year is going to be better because I'm just like, and there's in all the years I've experienced this, I've never had two, I've never seen two years so bad. I've seen two years that are kind of bad. So I'm hoping next year. You know, we can just open, have, have enough features to open and um, have you pick, but if we can just be open, that's what, all I want. Because people just enjoy coming out here because um, they enjoy just sitting out under the rocking chairs, and I'm going to miss just seeing people enjoy, enjoy being out here as much as I do.